Hello everyone, and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I'm your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in Scooby-Doo. Gosh. What is Don Knotts gonna say here? Same thing. Float like a feather. It's a warp game! So this is the one we need the uh, the umbrella for. Yes. Okay, so we'll have to go find the umbrella. Yeah, okay. Oh. The non I remember where we have to go for the non-slip shoes. We have to go back. No, we have the non-slip shoes. Yeah, I know. So we have- Like there was a slope that we couldn't get up while we were going through this level. Remember that? Oh, here we go. Okay, we have to warp here. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Warp! We need to go here. Right here? Creepy crawlies in the hallways. Which I think this is the one. No, no, remember we couldn't get past this. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Hold on. Um, it, 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 it's a little... It, well, the problem the, is we have to... It's on the trail. To... Try that one. What do you mean that one? I can't go to that one. That's why I've started here. Oh. Because we have to go to that. It's... Uh, I don't know what we need to have here. No, this oh. is where we can't go. This is on the way into the room. We have to go from this room somewhere. Because... Yeah, that way. Yeah, because, like, the lab we can't get to. But this way we, ha we can get into. I think. Because this goes back to the manor. And we can't get into it from that way. It's a one-way door. So it has to be from this way. So we're gonna look around here, guys, and if we can't find it, we'll come back later. What the fuck? I think you... I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. Can we, uh... Now that we can do this, can we kill the guys? No. Yeah, I didn't think it. Oh, can yeah? I don't think I don't think ghost. you can kill the ghost at all. I love how it does that, even though. Hmm. Interesting. I would have expected that door. I don't. I remember. Well, I mean, it's that's the thing. The only way we can go is here, because like, here, I, like I can check the map. We have four places we can go. Uh, so let's do this one. There's the hedge maze. Which, oh, the hedge maze isn't done. Right, the hedge maze isn't done. That's where we need to go. Because we need whatever the fuck, we need the, the, uh, the other thing for that. That makes sense. Now I remember, guys. I don't actually think I've ever gotten to this point, so I'm not remembering it, but shh. The hedge maze, uh, I don't remember. It was a long time. Oh, yeah, we need to go the way to the witch. Yeah, here. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Get out of my way. Door. Bad door. Scared stiff at skull or something. Yeah. Is this enough cliffs for you? Yeah, I don't remember this level too much. Yeah, I don't remember it either. Like, I know I've come I've come close to beating the game. Yep. Like, I, I think, like you, I got stuck on the, like, the last part. Like, the last level. Like, oh, I cleared God. everything else but one path. Yeah. If you can't, I got stuck there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, there's a button right there. There is. That's helpful. Scooby! Scooby! Do! Good. We've, we've gone there. <laughs> hey, you know, I probably should have gone back and gotten all this stuff. But, oh well. That is so much fun. It's, it's like Mars. <laughs> It really is, and it's, and that's what's nice about it. It's just so fun. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't think I'm supposed to do that either. But that's and yet it happens. Collision glitch. There's a platform right there. Thank you. One hit KO. KO, you lose. Yeah, I'm gonna go back because we're clearly supposed to have done that beforehand. So I'm just gonna go back over here. I think you're better. supposed to. F I think you're supposed to fall down there, though. What are you doing? I told you I'm going back over here. But there's stuff over here that I'm down. You sure? Yeah. Down here. Oh. <laughs> oh my snacks! Fall over. Crap! And that was it. 
Wait. Yeah, I was about to say that. That isn't no. it! Really? Oh, this is one of those things where I have to hit a button on the other side and come back over here to get on this and ride that, it. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Like, there got to be another button around. Okay, well, never mind then. Either I another, guess I was wrong. Either another button or yeah, umbrella. Yeah, because there's a door down there, so clearly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I didn't beat anyone up. I mean, uh, technically I did, but... Yeah, you beat the game up. No, I, I beat the monster up. But it's fine, it's a monster. Well, I, I guarantee you people are going to say in the comments section of this video that you should have died right there. And I agree with them. Like, you should have died, but... I should have died there. I should have fallen out of bounds there and started over. That's the same... Hey, well, it's hey. not technically the same as death. It's just respawning. You still die. Yeah, I, I, I love the concept speaking. of death in this game, because you don't really die, you just get scared and run away. Yeah, you don't have lives in this game, which I like. It's very, it's a, it's very nice. It's got the same feeling as Celeste, where you're never punished too much for a failure. You're punished just enough. Like, if you die on a level, like, a section of a level. <laughs> okay. The I, collision was not allowed. The thing you did, I actually do remember doing that. It is possible to do that. <laughs> oh, that one's fine. It is possible to do that. I just think, do you have to go back and hit that button? No, they're not that mean. Oh, that's it. The they are that mean. They're not. They are that mean. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, man! So get your ass back over there and hit that button. Okay, well, I'm gonna cheese it. If I can. Yeah, you can. See? It is possible to do it. Just don't do it again when you're over there. Thank you. One hit KOs this uh, KO! You lose! Is this just the diver ghost? Because I'm pretty sure he has a name. I think so. I don't know all the names, I just know some of them. The one I really remember, Minor 49er, is not in here. Yeah, I don't think he's in the game. Even though he's very iconic, because everybody remembers his name. Yeah, but I think that's from the movie. Which everyone loves Minor to shit 49er? on. Minor 49er? No, like, yeah. he was in a cartoon. Well, yeah, but he was also in the movie. Yeah, he was that's, in the That's movie. the thing. Everyone loves to shit on those movies. I didn't hate those movies. I thought the first two live-action movies were fine. Like, Yeah, I liked the second one more than the first one. Yeah, like... Well, that that's fair, but everyone hated the first one because Scrappy did. But, like, the second one... Yeah, yeah. the... I hated it because Scrappy-Doo was the fucking villain. I'm like, why? I understand why, because the whole point was they were making fun of the fact that everyone hates Scrappy-Doo, so Scrappy-Doo realized everyone hated him and got pissed off when they le abandoned him because people hated him so much. So they he became the villain to get back at people for abandoning him. So I got why they made him the villain. I was just pissed I off. Thought that, I thought it was very nice that they made him the villain. I was like, yeah, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. I was like, I mean, I didn't expect it either, but I hated it. I hated yeah. that. I was like, no. Yeah, people just hated it because it had Scrappy doing it, period. Less because he was the villain. They're just like, he's annoying and the stupid. I don't think the bridge fixes itself. Never mind. But anyway. You know what they say? Fuck you. <laughs> but, but anyway, Scrappy yeah. do. I never saw him as a villain, and that's. Why no, you don't see him it. as a villain, but I see why they made him. I see why too. Yeah, it's just, it was so it's, stupid. Because to me. that's the thing. He's the hero that no one deserves and no one wants. I, and the one I, who didn't. I don't. I no don't understand why people hate Scrap, Scrappy. Just somewhere. because he's fucking annoying. The I entire, never. I the never found him annoying. I, I liked him. Yeah. People are. They have the same. Well, okay. I don't want to say they have the same problem with the Shaolin Showdown. Uh, Shaolin Chronicles, because I think actually people do like. Uh, you need the umbrella. Yeah, I think people do actually like Omi's uh, cousin or whatever. Yeah, like. But it's same kind of thing where people just get pissed off when 
a lot of times people get very mad when you add a character who's related to one of the main characters to try to engender you to like them. Because, like, that's the whole point for Scrappy-Doo. Why are you supposed to like Scrappy-Doo? His voice is kind of annoying. It's, like, in a high Let me at him! Yeah. Let me at him! Yeah, he's... I think that's funny! <laughs> well, it's funny, but that's the point. He's annoying for comedy's sake. He's supposed to be annoying. He, he, he's like, to me, on he's like Timon. He's the comic relief. Yeah, but the thing was that a lot of people didn't find him funny, and then most people were just like, he's only here because Scooby's here, and Scooby's a better character than him, and Scooby doesn't talk. So it's kind of bad when you're... Well, Scooby talks. Well, what yeah, but you, you know doing? what I mean. Like, he doesn't... He talks, but, like, he doesn't do full sentences, and people are just like, we find Scooby much a better character and more enjoyable to listen to, and he doesn't, he only says like half sentences. Meanwhile, you say full sentences and we hate you. Like, again, I don't know if, I don't know if I agree with people. I, I never really saw the cartoons. Uh, um, I did. When they had, because Scrappy, what was Scrappy in? What show was he, did he come it was, out? It was a very old one. But like, do you remember the name? No. Because he's not in, like, a pup named Scooby-Doo, right? Because that's just Scooby-Doo, but young. Right? No, I don't think he's in that, no. Yeah, because no. I think that's just young Scooby-Doo, period. But, uh, because that's, the, that's the one I remember. You need the umbrella over there. Right, I do. Uh, um, but yeah. So, like, yeah, I never remember watching the ones he was in, so I don't have hatred for him. Like, he was in, he was in the old one, like, one of the first ones, like maybe season three or four, when when. Because yeah, I, I didn't think he was actually in the original cartoon. I thought that they added him to the new series. No, he was in the original. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't remember what season it was in the original. Um, I know it wasn't very early. Yeah, I imagine it was pretty late. Um, but um, I never had a problem with. Yeah. I don't Scrappy have that visceral. He, I don't have that visceral basically, hatred Basically, basically the other thing about Scrafty is he's the opposite of Scooby. He's fearless. He actually is not afraid of anything. He's not afraid of anything, but he's also incompetent. He, that he's, makes sense. In, he's incompetent, but that's part of his competency. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. He's like he to... tries to fight the ghost and then he up uh, he fails because yeah. either a, um, he doesn't get the chance to attack. Someone pulls him away. Yeah. Or um, maybe that was fails. yeah. Maybe that's part of the problem. Is just that the fact that he's supposed to be the comic relief, but his whole character is failing to do the thing the audience yells at the screen about. Like, just fucking punch him. Like, yeah, and and Scrappy tries to do that, yeah. and someone pulls him away. So I wonder him. if maybe part of the problem is that the audience. Maybe it's that he too well resonates with the audience. He is he just replaces the audience and what they want to do. And so but never gets to do it. So it's literally like a fuck you to the audience twice. First off, it's a Did I, I didn't come in the store, right? No. It's a different door. Okay. So first off, he's a fuck you to the audience because he is the audience. Uh in the show, oh, and it's wait, constantly. No, you, you, you were. Yeah. Okay. Good. I was like, what the fuck? You, you uh, did a round but yeah. Out. Okay. Because, yeah, on one hand, he's literally supposed to be the audience surrogate, and the audience finds him annoying, which is a bad thing to do when you're. It's the audience surrogate. And also, he's doing the stuff the audience wants the characters to do, but the characters are telling them to stop doing that stuff, which is the, akin to just telling the audience, fuck off. So, it's both a character that's supposed to be the audience who the audience hates. And a character that is being told to fuck off in place of telling the audience to fuck off. Like, I could... But... I could see... The, if that's the case, I could see why people don't... Uh... Fuck. I could see why people don't like him for that. But yeah, I never... I never got the annoyance of Scrappy. Yeah, like... I, I don't know why people find him yeah. annoying. I guess they just... Maybe his maybe, voice? Yeah, I guess his... I know it's part of it's his voice, but yeah, maybe they just don't like his catchphrase. Puppy power! I thought that was great. But I did not like how... Like, I didn't like him using it in that phrase in a villainous way. I, I hated that. Yeah, I... Yeah, Especially I... Again, I, I um, liked it. I liked how they did it in the movie because... He did God the damn it! Thing. 
Uh, I like how they did it in the movie, but I only like how they did it in the movie because they did it because they knew it'd piss people off. Yeah, piss the me whole, off. The whole point was, it was so, well, not like piss you off in that you're supposed to be mad that he was the villain. I was. You were supposed to be pissed off because it was Scrappy. That's the, they know most of the audience hates Scrappy, so they're just like, well, fuck it. We're just gonna lean into that. If you hate Scrappy that much, we'll just make him the fucking villain. And for doing that, yeah, good. If the audience is gonna, like, at the end of the day, audience, it's your fault that he was the villain. Stop hating fucking Scrappy-Doo, and he would not have been the villain. The fact that you hated him so much no, was the I reason... That way. No. The fact that you hated him so much was the reason he was made the villain in that, because they wanted to play off the fact that you hated him so much, he might as well be the villain. <laughs> the fucking... The fucking collision in this level is pissing me off. Where's the other door? Because this is not where, where I came you were in. going. No, 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 I mean, the, there are two entrances. Because that's not the door I entered. Because I didn't go up here. Um, The way you were going was the way. Okay. You what were I'm going to do is I'm going to find. Well, no. This was the other way you found. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm going to. This is a shortcut way back. Yeah. What I'm wanting to do is find the original, not shortcut way back. Um, It's like right in front of you. Because, like, where Scooby was facing. Oh, right. oh, fuck it then. At this point, just. Yeah, I, that's I'll why I was. That's why I wasn't telling you to go that way because that's the way back. Okay. Then yeah, I'm gonna. If this goes, it is not. Okay, it's not going for some reason. Why yeah. isn't anybody going? Oh man. But but yeah, like I didn't hate Scrappy Doo as the villain. I neither hated Scrappy Doo being the villain, nor did I hate the fact that, like, why he was the villain. Like, that's the thing. It is a great storytelling uh, thing. If all your... Like, it's... It honestly reminds me of, like, wrestling. If that... It, it, it might not... May, if that makes sense, why? Because, like, the good thing about... The thing about wrestling is that... Professional wrestling is all fake. It's all... All the storylines are planned out. And, like, scripted. But the whole point is, the audience is a participant in the sport. Like, the audience is a player. So, not only... So, when they write the scripts, they have to account for the audience. Like, one of the, the current things in wrestling, which I think's done now because they fi finally figured out a way to fix it, was that the main hero of the company was universally hated. Everyone hated the guy. But he was supposed to be the guy that everyone looked up to. He was supposed to be the hero. Well, it's kind of hard to make a hero work when no one likes him. He's so, one shot. Right. yeah, I guess. Uh, you need an umbrella for this one. Okay, I was gonna say, what the fuck is the point of this? But, okay, if it's the umbrella. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, but yeah, so the thing was, everyone hated him. So one of the things that people really wanted to happen was just make him a villain. Just do a heel turn where he becomes the villain, because everyone already hates him. It would work out very well. But the problem is, they didn't really have anyone to replace him as for the hero. So it's like, well, if we don't have a new hero that we can put in... Who, what then do we do? And that's kind of what they did for Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy-Doo was supposed to be a hero. He was supposed to be the, like, like the kid that you related to. No one related to him and everyone hated him. So they said, okay, well if everyone hates this guy, then let's just make him a villain and make that his backstory. We'll just make the cartoon his backstory, make the fact that the audience hated him his, uh, his backstory. To the point that they literally let the even the gang left him on the side of the road because they hated him that much. Like think about that. Think of how dark that is. Yeah. Like it's not just the audience hated him. In that movie, the God the gang, look at that water effect. That's bad. It, yeah, it's early GameCube uh, water effect. This was bad. Dude, I've seen better water oh, yeah. effects in Madagascar. There are better water effects on the GameCube. Like, remember, Wind Waker came out on the GameCube. Yeah! It has better water effects than So this. what the hell? Yeah, it's, it, it's pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, anyways. But yeah, think about that. How hard is the, it reflecting water? Yeah. SpongeBob did better than them. SpongeBob! Yeah. yeah. Uh. Whoopee! Yeah. But, but yeah, in all seriousness, think about that, guys. Not only did you, the audience, hate Scrappy-Doo, 
But the gang hated Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, his uncle, hated him so much that he did not object when the gang just left him on the side of the road. That's how much that character was hated. Is it surprising he became the villain? No! Of course he became the villain. Wouldn't you become the villain if your only family member said, basically, fuck you, you're annoying, go away. Um, there's something else in the center that you passed. Yeah, but I couldn't... I, I can't figure out where it is. Because it's not... Um, it's like directly center. Like... So like this one? Oh. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there yeah, it is. There's... That is, by the way, a, uh, well, it's not a glitch, but it's an abuse of the mechanics. Uh, oh, oh, you were timed! <laughs> I did not realize that. I didn't realize that. Well, it doesn't that matter anyways, because I got it all. Yeah, you did. Uh, Just go straight through now. Okay, I was like, where the heck am I? Uh, Damn, that's some bad water. But yeah, so, I have no, I don't hate why he was the villain. He absolutely, if anyone, based on that backstory they gave in the movie, I would kind of be upset if he wasn't the villain. At least at some point. Because, yeah, he was abandoned by his own family. Because he was too fucking annoying. I mean, I get that, but that's not what happened in the fucking part two. Well, no, that I was don't the know point. What, I don't know why you hit that I don't know, for, but... Just, I want it to be drained. Uh, yeah, so that's just a sandwich. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Well, that's not what happened in the cartoon, but the movie's supposed to happen after the cartoon. That's the point. The was... movies, I thought, were a reboot. Uh, it's not really a reboot, because they don't actually say they're rebooting the franchise. Some people try to say that Star Wars, like the new Star Wars movies and the new Jurassic Park movies, or the Jurassic World movies, are reboots. I'm like, no, they're not, because they're not rebooting it's, the franchise. It's, it's they're continuing the franchise. That's not what a reboot is. But yeah, I wouldn't say that those are reboots, because they're supposed to come out after the gang has already done all their adventures, and that they've kind of separated after all those adventures. Um, I know they had so, a live-action Scooby-Doo where they all finally met each other. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're thinking of the one, the Mystery Begins one, the one that was like the new live-action stuff? Yeah. Uh, right, I forgot, I can't dash on the fucking ice. Uh, yeah, that's a reboot. But the original two, uh, live-actions were not reboots. Were Those were supposed to be after everything else had happened. Yeah, uh, but where does it fit on the timeline? The end. That was the point. It's supposed to happen after everything else. Uh, that's why Scrappy-Doo was abandoned on the side of the road, because everyone hated him. And then he became a villain because he was abandoned on the side of the road. So, like, I, I completely understood why he was the villain. It made perfect sense. Yeah, but I still so. hated the fact that they made him the villain. It's fine. I mean, you don't have to like that they made him the villain, but you can't say that it's bad that they made him the villain. Like, you, you know what I mean by- if you know what I mean by that? Like, it's- it's one of those things where it's like, it makes yeah. story sense to you. You may- yeah. yeah. It's like, it's kind of the thing that the people always criticize cinema sense for, because they complain about things and say, I don't like them. You can't kill gargoyles. We literally proved we could kill, kill gargoyles in this okay. playthrough, but I don't know if you can jump on them. Sorry, you can't jump on them. That- that might be the case. Uh, but yeah, um... So yeah, it's that- it's one of those things that they always, uh, yell at cinema sense for. Because it's like, you can totally say, I don't like this thing about a movie, and that's fine. That's where the door but, is. But, okay, I just want to get the other key. Uh, once I find where the other key is, that is. Uh, oh, there's another Scooby Snack box I missed. missed. Well, you words. missed an entire platform up there. Well, I'll, you know, I'll go up there next. Uh, but yeah. Just oh, one of those things where... Oh, cool. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else besides that one. Uh, by going as far out as I can. Uh, but yeah, so it's like... Look, in the movie, yeah. it made sense why they made him a villain. Yeah, that... I'm the just saying... The backstory that yeah. they gave, it made sense. Yeah. But I still hated the fact that they did make yeah, him a fine. villain. That's, that's always one of the things that, you, that when you criticize movies, you have to keep a mind, like in mind. You always have to be able to say, I don't like this, but that doesn't make it a... Just because I don't like it doesn't mean it was done badly. He, he was an okay villain, yeah. but I still didn't like yeah. him being I, I get it. Yeah. Because you don't hate Scrappy-Doo, and the whole reason he is a villain is because people hated Scrappy-Doo. So you can't really agree with the reasoning that why he's a villain. I get you. Oh, this is the green ghost one. Oh. I don't even know if I can get up there, but I'll do what I can. 
try double jumping for it. Yeah. Need probably the umbrella. Yeah. Uh, and others. Oh, well, either that or a moving platform. Hold on. I have to get back up here anyways to go get that other box. Uh, I think that's a way back, so I should probably wait. Yeah, probably not but, go through that door. Yeah, I'll just wait and get it when I go back to the door later. We need to wrap up now, so let's go through the door. Press X to enter. Where are we entering? Misbehaving cause a case. Okay. I didn't see that one the first time. That's pretty good. Okay, guys. We're going to stop here and come back next time. But until next time, remember, the future may be uncertain, but what is certain is the live-action Scooby-Doo movies are dead, and I think that's a bad thing because I liked them. Yeah, um, okay, those ones that we like are dead. Yes, but they, I don't they, even know they, if they're still making the, new the ones. The newest live-action Scooby-Doo movie that I've seen, which was probably about a year ago, was a Daphne and Velma oh, origin God. story. Great. Well, anyways, we're going to ignore those because the, one, the two that... The older two, the oldest live action ones were the best ones. But that's our opinions. Yep. You can have your own opinions. You guys are awesome. Two, more Two Bros Game Nights. I don't know. The, sec the ending got fucked up because we started talking again. <laughs> See you on the next game night. Goodbye.